Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Frank's Collecting Castle. I finally have a nice stack of, as you can see, box sets and Blu-rays and one DVD <clears throat> that I wanted to show off. And I haven't done a video in a while because I wanted to have something more substantial than just uh, one movie or one box set. But I guess I picked them up finally. Or <laughs> they finally arrived, so I guess uh, without further ado, we should just... Uh, get started. In the background, I have The Exorcist Believer, which is not the greatest movie of all time, but just to have something on in the background. Let's start with the one DVD that I picked up. That is Aguirre. So this is with Klaus Kinski, directed by uh, Werner Herzog. The infamous collaboration between Kinski and Herzog, they made <clears throat> they made a lot of movies together, and Kinski is no was notorious for being very difficult to work with, and he was a um, eccentric human being, very much so. But he was a brilliant, brilliant actor at the same time, but very, very eccentric, very different, very difficult to deal with, and but he made a lot of great movies. So this is about the Spanish conquistadors, basically looking for this city of uh, El Dorado. Nothing special there. You can see just the discard. Nothing special to that. But I wanted to pick this up. Uh, Kinski. I mean, he made he made Eurocrime movies. He made spaghetti westerns. He made. Lots of different movies, and he made a lot of movies with Werner Herzog, who is a great director. And uh, yeah, Kinski uh, also has a daughter, Natasha Kinski, who's made a lot of movies, like um, I think Species are the movies she's most known for. In the series, at least, I don't know how many of the Species movies she did. Uh, but yeah, read up and, and read up on Kinski. Or, you know, check out on YouTube as well. He also made, uh, wrote, I think, one, at least one biography. Um, fascinating human being. Absolutely. He was uh, very fascinating. So I'm really looking forward to watching this movie. <clears throat> then in my quest to get more um, Dario Argento movies, I finally was able to pick up Inferno. I've been wanting to get this movie for quite a while. It was kind of difficult to come by, unfortunately. I thought I had it. I didn't, but... I finally do. I finally want to watch it on... Finally was able to pick it on Blu-ray. So this is one of the slim packs. I'm not a fan of slim packs. Here we have the discard. There's no... No special features on this Blu-ray, unfortunately, um, at all. But I was finally able to get it, so that's Inferno. Then I picked up The Vanishing. So this is from uh, Studio Canal. It comes with a, a slipcase. Nothing. Same thing there. Unfortunately, nothing. No special extra features. <coughs> but um, I'm very happy to have it. Here's the notes. Here's the discard. Nothing. I showed you a while ago the American version with uh, Jeff Bridges and Nancy Travers and Keith R. Sutherland and also Sandra Bullock. I like the American version. I still haven't had time to, to watch this, but I'm looking forward to getting into this original French version from 1988 of The Vanishing. My most recent pickup is something that I got yesterday, The Sacrament. So this is from Second Sight Films. This is, uh, has definite special features, as you can see, interviews with uh, some of the actors. Uh, it doesn't feature an interview with Ty West, who uh, directed this movie. 
Ty West, obviously we know him from X and Pearl and now the up and coming uh, Maxine. This is a, a like a documentary found footage movie and it's about it's not about but it's 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 uh, likened I guess to uh, the Jonestown massacre which is infamous that happened the in the I can't remember if it was the late 70s or early 80s but the Jonestown massacre is is uh, um, where drink the Kool-Aid phrase came from and it's become a, a, a term in popular culture and this kind of referenced or heavily references that and they reflect the Jonestown Massacre where in, uh, uh, there was this pastor Jim Jones who decided to move to uh, Guyana in South Africa in, in South America and start his own community and he called it Jonestown and uh, it ended tragically with over 900 people killed. So this is uh, like that. It's, it's about this settlement, this parish. It's, it's a really, really good movie. I've seen it before and I was finally able to see it again and I was happy they released it. So this is a standard Blu-ray. Blu Blu they also released a, you know, a limited edition box set. I opted to just get the standard edition but the other movie they released i did get in the box set edition and that was gonjiam haunted asylum a south korean found footage horror movie so i opted to get the box set here as you can see there there's the box so second sight came out this year, that hard, rigid box set we all love. The Blu-ray, that's the J-card, no reversible art there, you have the disc art. There we have all the special features. Came with art cards on this thick paper. I really like that when it's thick paper compared to, you know, thin paper. I got it yesterday, so I haven't had time to watch it yet. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen the unboxing of this, but... <clears throat> Very thick book. It's like a. It's about eighty pages. Of, oops. Really nice book. Here you get it's thick pages. I prefer thick pages to thin pages, and I really I'm not a fan of like glossy paper. So this doesn't have that. It's really really nice. That's one that I'm really looking forward to getting into. I'm getting to watch it in the next couple of days. Something that I also picked up a while ago was the, the Bob Clark Horror Collection from 101 Films. This has spine number 29. So he only made three horror movies, basically. And these are, look at that great artwork here. Black Christmas, or Dead of Night, or Dead Stream, and Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. Very nice box set. Very, very nice. And even harder box set, harder shell. Take a look at that artwork here. The original art for children shouldn't, oops children shouldn't play with dead things get some special features the 
open up. Have the discard. Alternate. That's very cool. Dead of Night. Death. Death Stream. Death Dream. The special features. There's their full-length documentary on the works of Bob Clark. That's very cool. Open that up. Very cool discard. Alternate. Very cool. And Black Christmas. His probably most famous uh, horror movie is Black Christmas. It has the most special features. I've been watching some of those, which is very, very nice. They have interviews with the actors that are still alive. It has Margot Kidder, Olivia Hussey. Margot Kidder, unfortunately, has passed on. Olivia Hussey's with this. <clears throat> I got the art cards. Very, very nice. Once again, on thick paper. Black Christmas is a great movie, by the way. A very, very nice book as well. That's the Bob Clark Horror Collection. And finally, from Arrow, the Thing Limited Edition. I already have the Standard Edition. This limited box set here is uh, not available anymore. I've seen it go on uh, like different places for 100 to 150 bucks. I did not pay 150 bucks for this. But I was happy to get it. <clears throat> so if you buy the standard edition, the regular standard edition, which I have, you get all these special features. So nothing different there. I actually compared and checked, but there's so much special features. It's like, I think it's over eight hours of special features. So the movie itself is no different. But look at that box set. Slipcase or box. Beautiful. This came out in 2017, the box. That. This was a little bit more difficult to get out. Let's see if I can. Get it now. You have the original artwork, of course, the reversible the classic. <clears throat> you also got a lot of art cards this time. Look at that behind the, the, the back side here, which is great. photos that's great stuff you get this wonderful poster as well open that up with the newly Created artwork, and of course, the classic artwork. Awesome. And a thick book. Look at that cover, by the way. It's just a great cover. Back. Once again, the thick pages, which I so much prefer, so much love. So that's some great stuff. So 
I got, let's do the quick recap here of stuff that I got. So the thing, we got the Bob Clark Horror Collection. So I'm almost Gonji Nam. Aguirre. The Sacrament. The Vanishing. And Inferno. Let me know what you think of those uh, movies that I picked up. If you think there's as good, if there's a thing, there's more things that I should get, some things that I'm missing, uh, give me that thumb up. Uh, please comment down below. I really want to hear your comments, and I very much appreciate the comments. I really want to hear your thoughts about these movies and other movies that I show off in my videos. And if you want to, give me a possible subscribe. But uh, until next time, everybody, see you again sometime soon.